Well, how's it going, Amira community? I'm here with David Nicastro. We wanted to take a minute to just talk a little bit about Move for Amira and what it means to us as people who move on behalf of the women we serve. So David, you have done Move for Amira over the last couple of years. You've done some really hard things. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about your experience as a volunteer with the Mira yeah. and how that impacts your experience for this event, Move for Amira. Yeah, I was a uh, direct care volunteer uh, within the North Shore home. Um, and that was back right before COVID started. So it was a very difficult time for everybody in the world, the country, but the safe home really got hit hard as well. Um, just one day uh, being a direct care volunteer within the home, um, a woman had come down and, and handed me a letter, uh, one of the participants, and then she went on a walk and I read it. Um, we heal in community at Amira, so I was going through stuff in my life, needing healing as well. It was, it was just a really beautiful place to heal. And I opened the letter and she had uh, kind of expressed how she's lost some pretty important people in her life and uh, didn't have many left. Mm. Um, and she saw me as a brother figure mm. and she says, um, you are a safe man in my life. Uh, please just keep coming back. And um, that melted my heart and I just wanted the women when I'm moving and it gets very difficult out there in a move, I see her face. Mm. Um, there's, there's many of the women that have walked through that home and even now in the rapid rehousing that I see their faces. So when it gets physically difficult for us or emotionally or mentally, um, to just have a vision of these women and uh, the less than 1% that do get out and the 99% that stay in that life, it's one of my motivations that I just kind of see them and have that situation in my heart to really push forward because um, they do care, they do remember. And when you, when you do move for them, um, it just breaks down walls and melts their hearts as well and that we heal from that. And yeah. so that's one of those stories. That's a beautiful reminder of this reality that we know Move From Here is gonna raise awareness. We know it's gonna raise money, but the way that it impacts the women is really special. Yeah. And I had an experience like that, also volunteering at Amira in one of our aftercare programs. And uh, we were seated, seated at a table just shortly after Move From Amira. I had just lost a ton of weight because I did a hike that was insane. I tried to climb 25 mountains in five days, which I think was humanly impossible. <laughs> and one of the participants was just sort of laughing at me, like, why would you do that? That sounds horrible. And uh, and I said, well, actually, I did it for you. I did it for this event yeah. called Move for Amira, yeah. where we raise attention for your courage and funds for your recovery journey. And in a space where it was really not normal to show vulnerability yeah. or emotion, she just broke down. Mm. And she clarified, like, you did that for me. And um, I said, yeah, we, we did. We actually prayed for you by name at the top of one of those yeah. mountains. And she came and found my wife and I later and just said, I just want you to know my whole life I've been taken from and hurt and abused. Yeah. She said, it's hard for me to think of anything kind that anyone has ever done for me, much less climb mountains. And a few days later, I was back at the home doing some volunteer work on the outside. And one of our younger participants came and found me and she said, I'm so glad you're here. Um, this woman who we'll call Lisa publicly had a really hard day and she said she's gonna be so glad to see you she was outside just kind of crying under the weight of it all and she said I I just heard her repeating to herself Mike climbed 16 mountains mm. for me Mike climbed 16 mountains yeah. for me like a mantra uh, as a reminder that I'm worth fighting for yeah I'm worth moving for yeah. um, my life matters and um, and as I move in subsequent years, I'm always thinking of her and I'm always thinking of that story. So for those of you out here who are moving for the first time, I hope you feel encouraged by these experiences that we've had. And I hope that you feel um, uh, as passionately about these women as we do to know that as you're moving from here, you're communicating something to them and to the world. And that is that these women are worth fighting for. Yes. They're worth moving for. So thank you for participating in this year's Move for Amira.